Hi guys, so today I want to take you through how to set custom DNS servers on Ubuntu 20.04 and 18.04 using NetPlan and Network Manager. Uh, now, the reason why we have to set a static IP address is because if you just put in the NetPlan config file, the YAML file, uh, if you just state name servers and addresses, um, it will include those addresses uh, in Network Manager but it aggregates them to third and fourth uh, priority and it uses the upstream DHCP DNS servers as uh, first and second priority so it pretty much makes it redundant. Uh, so the way we get around that is by stating uh, it as a static connection. Okay so the first thing we need to do is get some information about your connection so we'll open up a terminal window and we'll type in IP A and that will show the first one there is your loopback adapter don't worry about that second one is my Ethernet wired connection which is called ENP 0 S3 uh, and the information we're after is INET there which is your current IP address which is there and the uh, net mask which is 24 Okay, second bit of information is uh, we need to find out our default gateway. So we go IP route show, and there you'll see default via, and that's your IP address of the default gateway. So we'll keep that window open, and we'll open up another terminal window. And this time we need to change directories to etc. net plan. and then we do the directory command EIR and you'll see your YAML configuration file there for NetPlan so we copy that and then we go sudo nano and then paste the file name in there pop in your password if it asks it okay so that's our basic uh, YAML uh, configuration file and we need to add this code here to it uh, now I've included that at the bottom of this video on YouTube and also on my website so it's a little bit better formatted on my website um, but YAML um, is very fussy with indentations so it's a bit like Python like that it uses indentations to um, delineate between different directories directives uh, YAML won't uh, will throw an error when you use tab as the uh, indentation so don't use tab use the space bar and you're looking at um, two spaces every time you need to indentate all right so I'll go through the different uh, directives here so we state Ethernet's first to, to uh, denote uh, wired connections uh, and then the name of the connection which we got from here when we did the IP command uh, DHCP4 which is IPv4 and we want to put that as false because we don't want it to get a lease from the upstream DHCP server. Uh, addresses, now we put in that information that we got earlier from INET and your net mask. Okay, so we pop those in, in brackets. Uh, gateway 4, uh, we pop in the default route that we got there uh, and we don't put that in brackets. Then we state name servers and then indentate addresses and this is where we put your DNS server addresses. Okay, uh, so that's basically it. So I will copy that and then we'll go to our open YAML file and we'll just paste that in there. Um, okay, so now we go Control O, enter and then Control X to exit and then we want to apply that configuration so we go sudo netplan apply and hopefully it will just come back to a, a command prompt which means it's been successfully applied uh, probably half of you will enter will get an error there um, usually about indentation or a directive that uh, is incorrect uh, so now we need to make sure that uh, the connection is using those DNS servers so what we will put in is systemd uh, resolve and then dash dash status 
and then we hit the end key on the keyboard or just keep hitting enter and you get to the bottom of that and right there you see it's using my Google DNS server so it's working fine alright so uh, if you've had any trouble or have any questions leave them below but uh, otherwise I'll catch you next time guys cheers